Borada. Good morning. It's Sunday, the 20th of August. I've got a few jobs today. I need to keg both the Schwartz beer and the um, persistently bitter. Um, got both of them to do. Need to capture all the yeast for that as well. And before that, I just need to get the sorry for shaking the camera and the setup ready for the kegs. Let me just spin you around. So, um, a couple of you just mentioned about maybe having a drip tape tray. Just utilised an old um, foil tray. Doesn't take much space. So I've got that going and I need to drill a hole about here so I can get this thing in. So come in and then they, I'll break it down to make it fit and so I can pressurise the kegs and keep them pressurised as such. So I've got all of that to do. Um, let me spin you out again. Yeah, so that's what I've got going on today, guys. And Stewie Prince, you asked to hear how loud the chiller was. I'll be honest with you, the GoPro, oh, GoPro, here to go again, Grandfather Glycol Chiller itself is much more noisier than the Maxi 210, um, especially when it kicks in. Yeah, so both of these have been um, cold crashing for a few days actually, just not at the time to do anything of late and um, so I'm looking forward to getting all these cleared today I still haven't done the murky straight got all the gear in there ready to go so uh, right let's get cracking get this hose in here bring you back in when I've done it and there we have it guys one hole couple of hoses fit nicely in there and uh, so I've just run this one on the back keg times two switch on and off and uh, I'll probably do the same with this hose for the bottom that is if it's, there's enough hose there pretty sure there is so uh, yeah that'll be spot on and uh, we trying to get hold of labels. Probably out to Amazon it won't I? So I just needed some, you know, these standard labels just to put on here, just to let me know what's on, what's in them. So yeah. Just put the lights in there so you can see it guys. So give the bottom there a vacuum. Probably put the other hose in and then get cracking with getting the beer ready for transfer so I'll switch this on in a bit and we'll uh, have a listen to see um, how high this is uh, in volume as such so um, I'm still expecting for that um, secondary uh, inline gauge and that will probably go here somewhere fit it onto there once it comes and then um, I'll be able to fiddle with it outside here without having to open the door. I think that's the best position for it. Or maybe here somewhere. I'm not sure yet. But you get the drift. And um, thinking about it, I'll probably have to get another one for this hose as well. But that won't be a problem. Right, guys. There we go. See you in two ticks. Just uh, kegging. It's the bitter. So, persistently bitter, 3.8%, 20th of August. And Schweiz beer, 4.3%, 20th of August. 
So I've got my jars in a solution of Chemsan with some syringes hopefully to get some yeast um, got my hose in there as well I won't need the syringes today but I just put in there to give a good clean so I'll just collect the yeast through here there obviously and uh, give these two a clean once they've filled up so I'm about here you can see the condensation there so I'll continue with that wow it's quite warm here it's 26 degrees so uh, what I've also done is I've got a donor can here <clears throat> full can of, of beer so we can get an accurate reading of um, the actual temperature because when I'll open the door a rush of warm air will go in then I don't want it to take the ambient temperature I want to take it off um, the actual can itself um, so <clears throat> it'll continue um, to stay the same really and And that's it so we're ready to pop them in once they're finished hoping to get a couple of bottles maybe see how that goes right catch up in a bit guys hi the kegs are filled they're in the cold room it's getting down to temperature and that is how loud it is nothing to it very very quiet Maxi 210 is spot on really for this kind of job. So I've got some beer left, we're going to bottle them and then collect some of the yeast. Right, I'll see you in two ticks guys. So I've uh, collected some yeast, Novo Lager, Y yeast 1469, Novo and Y yeast 1469. So I'll pop these now inside the cold room and uh, hopefully they should drop in the next 48 hours then I can collect them and freeze them and we've got a few bottles as well guys so there's the bitter and spice beer Right, some cleaning up to do guys. And it is rather warm in here, rather warm. About time for a beer I think. Um, always beer o'clock isn't it? So uh, get cleaning these fermenters now and um, into the bar and have a beer. See you soon guys. Yechida. Yechida. Thirsty work, this um, brewing malarkey. Yeah, so this is the golden ale I made. And it is an absolute banger of a beer. Oh, you at that. Yeah, so I'm glad I've got everything kegged now. So the Schweiz beer will be going on tap in October together with the Vienna Lager that I've already made and hopefully they will have conditioned nicely by then. This golden ale is on the hand pump here. Um, this will probably finish in the next couple of weeks I would say. And then the persistently bitter will be going on tap. Sorry, on the hand pull. Looking forward to that one. That The um, recipe was from the Hop Edition. So thank you lads for that, much appreciated. Um, other than that really, the next few beer batches will be uh, five kilogram bags of Golden Promise. I have a lot of hops still left. Uh, I've got about 
about six or seven different varieties from New Zealand and the States, Citra, Simcoe, um, stuff like that really, um, Chinook, so I'm going to do a mix, mix and match with them really and the Golden Promise, it's first time I've ever used it and I really really do enjoy it, I love the multi flavour that it gives, gives so I'm looking, really looking forward to doing the next few batches and trying to get a better understanding of this Golden Promise. Probably utilise a bit of wheat malt to get um, head retention or to assist with that. Saying that, this ain't bad on its own. So yeah, that's it for today guys. Um, thanks very much for watching. I'm going to be pretty busy now for the next week. I'm a, um, and then... The week after will be my last week at work um, then I'll be off on leave for uh, just over two weeks so going on a pub crawl with a couple of friends from the local homebrew club here on Anglesey on Friday come in did know I have mentioned that before so looking forward to that <clears throat> and then I'll be in Bradford also going to start on a course tail end of next week so um, hopefully hopefully I'll get the murgy straight done because I'd like to get that on tap for when I'm off on leave so I'll have to try and get that one done pretty damn quick so that can be conditioned somewhat yeah so there we go guys thanks very much for watching take it easy and here's to all your lazy Sundays. Yechida.